A long-lost black-and-white film documenting the early life of the silent film star Charlie Chaplin could raise up to £10,000 when it goes on sale at Christie's next month. It was made 70 years ago, but was never shown after Chaplin himself tried to ban it. The film was discovered in a garage recently after lying forgotten for years. Jane Stanley reports. Charlie Chaplin didn't want this film ever to be seen. He was not its star. The man with the trademark cane and baggy trousers is actor Chick Wango. He revisits Chaplin's old haunts in the 1928 documentary, which shows the early life of silent movie's biggest star. Now it will be shown. This one, we understand, was actually prevented from being released by Chaplin himself. So there's a bit of a mystery behind it. And there's various speculations as to why Chaplin would prevent this film being shown. East Street Market in the poor South London neighbourhood where Charlie Chaplin was born. His music hall performer parents separated when he was a baby. He spent long periods in children's homes and the workhouse. East Street may have been the inspiration for his film, Easy Street. There's nothing to show that Charlie Chaplin was ever here. If the film world legend is to be believed, then maybe he wanted it that way. Up till now, it's been thought that he was embarrassed by his poverty-stricken roots. But local people who remember a visit Chaplin made to East Street as an old man say he was immensely proud of his humble origins. Yeah, he was walking through East Street, he, probably just after he wrote his book, he was walking through and my father recognised him, he just read his book. And uh, he put his arm round him and he just took him into our shop and was sitting there talking to him for about, uh, about an hour. Uh, talking about different stars and different things about his life. In 1921, the cinema newsreel showed a triumphant Chaplin returning to London. By then, he was one of Hollywood's greats. The most significant clue to why he apparently banned the film about him comes from the writer, who studied Chaplin since he was a child. Charlie, above all, hated imitators, and he'd suffered a lot from them because uh, people had stolen the costumes, stolen the gags, and... Uh, and lots and lots of people have made films and uh, he got very angry and he brought a pretty heavy um, lawsuit against a group of these people and won it. Chaplin was unique. The historians hope the film may provide an insight into why. James Stanley, BBC News. Tonight's main news again.